at his feet. Teed up for Burns, now for Craggs. And it's a goal, no, it's not. And it's Harris. But well, that was a great shot from Craggs, almost a goal. He must have got a bang on his head. And a great header and a goal. And it's Osgood who's done it. Osgood runs towards the Chelsea supporters. His first game of his comeback. He meets that lovely centre from Bumstead. Meets it perfectly. And with 25 minutes gone, Osgood has put Chelsea in the lead. Wicks pushing his way past Cummins. Free kick for the bar. Craggs to Armstrong. And it comes to Mahoney, and that's a nasty deflection. And Brock has scored. He's equalised. Oh, he showed tremendous coolness for the youngster. Hard luck on hard luck on the goalkeeper as the ball was punched out it was a nasty deflection for him to have to take he punched it out it went straight to Proctor who hammered it back home and the Borough are level after 28 minutes for those watching in black and white says the Borough are in the lighter strip Endless throw, it helped on, surely, Burns, yes! Oh, that was a tremendous throw! And it's a goal by Burns. Tremendous throw from John Craggs, and that caused consternation in the goal mark. The ball was just nudged away, and there was Burns who hammered it back into the back of the net. Gets him in two minds, squares the ball to Mickey Burns, and it's 3 1. Once again, the attack just fizzles out. And the Borough now race for that long ball from Burns to Cummins. He's got to do it all himself. He's got a lot of shirts on his arms and the scored. And that really was a beautiful goal made by Cummins. And the goals move started by Burns who pushed the ball way out to Cummins he had to do it all on his own he had a forest of blue shirts around him but he made the move inside shot, the ball pushed out by Isles and then up came Armstrong to apply the finishing touches and so with 52 minutes gone the Borough up 4-1 in the lead and Walker pushed in the back by Craggs, free kick to Chase square to Britain oh well left for stride and Borough are exposed a bit surely someone can yes a goal knocked in by Bumstead and stride the man who made the great dash down the left wing he pulled the ball back and Bumstead was there to drive the ball into the net to make it 4-2 with 61 minutes gone Bumstead gets it back to stride. The two men who engineered the second Chelsea goal. Burns to Mahoney. Now to Cummins. Borough almost six forwards up. And it's a goal! And it's the hat-trick for Mickey Burns. And 
once again the Cummins magic has paid off he held the ball long enough maneuvered it well chipped it inside and the Chelsea defense once again was at sixes and seven Taylor getting it down to Langley rather easily beat Armstrong into Burns. Proctor on his right. This is Proctor. And Cochrane's got a million miles of room. And it's a beautiful goal. Oh, that really was a corker of a goal. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Chelsea players were in the penalty area as Cochrane cut inside, having got that beautiful ball from Proctor. He had lashing to room, he cut inside, and with seven Chelsea players covering their goalkeeper, hit the left foot shot in off the post. And so it is now 6-2. Racing for that return pass, and he gets it now. Almost going to a lot. Suddenly, Ramage comes away, and he gives it to Burns. And the people were offside, and Cochran was never offside. Now Burns is not offside, and there's the seven. And really, that was the dreaded end for Chelsea. They thought Cochran and this fellow was offside. They all stopped playing. And the linesman rightly waved play on. Cochrane gave possession, hit the wall into the middle, and there was Burns with the whole of Cleveland almost around him. All he had to do was slide the ball into the back of the net to make it 7-2.